Hi, I'm Lana. I'm the creative director here at Chartpack, and I'm going to show you a quick project to try out some of our newest art supplies. This project's based on neurographic art. So what we're going to need is we're going to need basic marker that is waterproof or water resistant. We're going to need paints, watercolors. We're going to use our Japanese watercolors from Grumbacher. Um, paper. We're going to use our handmade paper from Indigo Art Papers. And a paintbrush. This is a Golden Edge brush from Grumbacher. And some water. And that's really all you need to get started. So first, you want to be able to take one of your markers. And for it to be water resistant, it's really important because once you apply the liquid from your paints, it might smear if it's not. Two of the best from Kiritaki are the cartoonist here, which has a filamented brush end, and the mangaka here, which is a fiber tip. I'm gonna use a brush pen for this too, and you'll see why I've chosen to use two different markers. So to start, all you have to do is really take your time, empty your mind, and doodle across the page. So here you can see how flexible that brush tip is. And you just want to create swirls, lines, doodles, whatever comes to you. You don't have to plan out whatever it is you're drawing. You just make your lines. You can overlap. And you can add other lines in. So once you're happy with your layout, the next step is to really go in and smooth out any sharp angles that you have within your composition. So for instance, right here, I have a sharp angle. I'm gonna fill that in and round that out. You're gonna do that for all the connections. If you see also that you have some blank space, you can go in, add a few more details, Right in here, I might create a little bit of a oval. And here I might break up all of this white space by some more lines that come through. Whatever you like. They don't have to be circles. You can make lines, you can make filaments, whatever, whatever it is that you want to doodle. And then you connect all those lines and smooth everything out. And you can make your arches, connecting these corners as wide or as slim as you want. There really aren't that many rules to this project. But you can see the differences between these brushes, the flexibility in the nibs, the kind of detail you can get. Once you're satisfied with what you have, you can continue to add in marks and lines, circles, or you can get on to the next step. The next step is filling in all the negative areas. You can fill in as much or as little as you want. Um, you can do leave the outer part blank. You can just fill in the inside or you can fill out your whole composition. It's really up to you. I'm gonna show you how we use the Grumbacher uh, Japanese watercolor with the pans. So I'm going to start with um, a gradient type of look. And I'm going to add some water into the main part of the pan and then into the mixing well beneath it. That's going to help me determine the consistency of my paint. I want something pretty opaque to start with. So I have this creamy watercolor now in my tray and I'm going to apply it to my composition. 
and you'll see that it's fairly opaque when it's in that creamy consistency. Not quite like a gouache. A gouache tends to be um, more solid and has a very flat finish, whereas this has that watercolor finish that has that slight gloss to it. And you do get some um, uh, paper through the paint, even though it is fairly opaque in this consistency. I'm going to take this, I'm going to add a little bit more water to my paint in the tray to thin it out. And you'll see that it becomes really translucent really quickly. Another cool feature with the tray is that you can blend colors without muddying the paint that is in your main paint well. We also have the glimmer colors from the Japanese watercolor line, which I can use for an accent to demonstrate them here. But they have a really great sparkle to them. This one is called Stardust, and it's a golden color. You'll see how opaque it can be, even on white paper. It looks great on black. It also has a lot of sheen on white. And that's it. That's neurographic art. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you'll try out more of our products with us soon.